Just about anyone in their right mind would jump at the chance to live in a luxurious mansion. Typically reserved for the rich and famous, mansions are known for having everything one could desire right under their expensive roofs. But there are some mansions that have dark secrets, ghosts, or other strange things about them that have potential buyers running in the other direction. Check out these 10 mansions no one wants to buy for any price. Richmond, Texas Mansion This mansion looks really beautiful from the outside, and the price of $1.2 million isn't bad. In fact, you might think that anyone would jump at the chance to buy this amazing Richmond mansion. However, when you walk through the front door of this place, you will understand why people are running away. Once you walk through the front door, the place becomes a creepy funhouse of sorts. There are mannequins all over the place, headless ones, ones dressed completely and standing in poses, and even ones made to look as if they are standing on the ceiling, and even one riding a tricycle. Imagine going in and looking at this place and being traumatized by the sheer craziness it took to design this place like this. You wouldn't be able to get it out of your mind, and that would be the end. Perhaps someone should tell the owner that if they want to sell the place, they should make it less creepy. Connecticut Creepy House There is something weird about this place, and it's not because it's full of mannequins or even ghosts. No, it's not in a terrible location, and it doesn't have some spooky history, and it's not in bad condition. The problem is that the inside of this home is just plain creepy because of the way it was decorated. Unique, one-of-a-kind finishing completed by a professional boasts the listing. The walls look like they've been painted with blood, there is way too much copper in every room, and the decorative elements throughout the house are so jarring visitors and potential buyers can't wait to leave. Maybe if buyers find out the house, priced at around $330,000, is actually a contemporary art project by Fermata Arts Foundation founder Nikolai Sinkov, they'll stop being so revolted by the interior. Nah, the only hope for this house of horrors is a complete interior overhaul. Ann Starrett Mansion Devoted husband George Starrett set a standard. After marrying his fiancée Anne, George set about constructing a material monument to their romance. Work was completed in 1889 on this eight-bedroom, eight-bath home, which Starrett topped off with a spectacular 70-foot-tall dome tower that features paintings of Anne depicting all four seasons. It was used as a bed and breakfast for years. However, visitors have claimed sightings of a red-haired woman believed to be the ghost of Anne and others have spotted the couple's nanny staring back at them from a mirror in what was once her bedroom. Fortunately, the entities appear to be friendly and haven't terrorized anyone yet. The house is currently listed as a residential property for $850,000, but because of the sightings, no one seems to be interested in buying this haunted house. SK Pierce Mansion there are a lot of mansions that are haunted, and this exquisite Victorian home is apparently one of them. This one, however, earns the distinction of extremely haunted. With its large bay windows, mansard roof, and gingerbread trim, it has all the makings of a living dollhouse. The home beautiful home has 10 bedrooms and 6,661 square feet of living space. The house experiences so much paranormal activity, it's been investigated by TV shows like Ghost Hunters, Ghost Adventures, My Ghost Story, and 10 Most Haunted Places in New England. So who is still roaming the halls of this gorgeous mansion? Some say they've seen the figure of a busy servant girl. Others, a little boy who stares longingly out the front window. To some, a sad woman has appeared. The home is currently on the market for only $329,000. In some cities, you'd have a hard time finding a three-bedroom home for that price. Kreischer Mansion, Staten Island, New York Sitting just off the Staten Island's poetically named Arthur Kill Road is the last remaining Kreischer Mansion, of which there once existed two. It's a lovely Victorian home that is said to be one of the most haunted places in all of New York. Of the two Kreischer mansions, one was destroyed during the Great Depression, but the other, where one of the Kreischer sons died, managed to survive despite the family's poor fortune. However, the ornate Gothic house soon became the target of local superstition, and all manner of ghost stories involving strange voices and lights began to surround the moldering mansion. Adding credence to the creepiness of the house is the very real crime that occurred there in 2005. On the order of a mafia boss, the caretaker of the empty mansion was paid thousands of dollars to carry out a hit at the site, which he did. But we can't tell you the gruesome details. Today, the Kreischer Mansion is back on the market and the ghost stories continue. 
With any luck, the next tenants will have better luck than the last century's worth of ill-fated inhabitants. Oakley in Bowden, Cheshire Some mansions, no matter how big they are or how much land they sit on, could ever sell because of a horrible and terrible history. As a magnificent five-bedroom Victorian mansion on two acres of land, you would expect this family home to be snapped up for a premium as soon as it went on the market. However, the place now lies deserted. It far pales in comparison to its former glory, where the house was in excellent condition and the surrounding yards were perfectly kept. So what happened here? Without getting into the gory details, let's just say that a terrible crime happened here when the previous owner, lawyer Christopher Lumsden, got into a confrontation with his then-wife, who did not survive. The crime was so terrible that no one wants to set foot in this mansion. Conrad Aiken House, Savannah, Georgia Conrad Aiken was a famous American poet and man of letters. He was also a child witness to the murder-suicide of his parents in this house. Aiken was the son of wealthy New Englanders William Ford and Anna Potter Aiken, who had moved to Savannah, Georgia when Conrad was a child. His father was an established and respected doctor who specialized in brain surgery. But rather suddenly, and without warning or reason, the good doctor turned violent and dark. In the early morning hours of February 27, 1901, an 11-year-old Conrad listened from his bedroom as his parents argued. He then heard his father count to three before hearing two gunshots, which left him without his parents. Los Feliz Mansion, Los Angeles, California If you want to live in a stately hillside house in Los Angeles, but you've been holding out for one where a horrible tragedy happened over a half century ago, now's your chance. This crown jewel of Southern California murder lore can be yours for only $2,750,000. The murder mansion for the uninitiated is the site of a murder-suicide from 1959. Since the house has remained unoccupied ever since the night of the crime, Legend has it that the worldly possessions of the murderer and his family remained untouched for decades and were visible through the windows. We can't really tell you what happened here, but you can always check the links in the description for more information. 525 South 23rd Street, Saginaw, Michigan You won't know this from any highly publicized murder case, and its real estate listing wouldn't draw many eyes. But this house has a particularly nasty history. The estate of the victims still owns the house, it hasn't been sold since. We won't get into the details because this is a family channel, but the things that happened weren't nice, and there are good chances that ghosts roam this home. It is unlikely that it will ever belong to another owner again, and remain empty and haunted forever. The Watcher Home This house that comes with its very own stalker, or perhaps it's a prankster, is now back on the market. This home was bought by a family a little while back and they thought that they had found their dream home. However, the family who bought this Westfield, New Jersey home for $1.4 million in 2014 claimed they had received disturbing letters from an anonymous watcher. The creepy thing is that this person wasn't interested in watching them, but the house itself. One of the letters that they received read as follows. My grandfather watched the house in the 1920s and my father watched in the 1960s. It is now my time. One letter read, Do you need to fill the house with the young blood I requested? The new owner said that the seller didn't say anything about any stalkers, and the previous owner says that the letters were a fraud, so the new owners could get out of the deal. Whatever the case may be, the owners left and never returned. The house is now up for sale. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know which one of these houses you thought were the scariest. And if you liked the video, click the subscribe button. It's free and it won't bite you. You'll be notified when we release new videos.